My name is Rebecca Georgie and I'm a 42-year-old Air Force veteran. I was asked to share my story. You know, these people, this interview, it's all for a very good cause. And it seems simple enough, right? Well, it's not. It's not simple at all. Most of my time was spent trying to support three girls all by myself. They know I'm struggling. I try not to let them know that, but, you know, it's only obvious. I can see where financially things, I mean, they can make you crazy. Then we've got MST, which is military sexual trauma. Um, me even saying those words right now is a small miracle. I was carrying around a secret, this weight. I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. I really thought that I was going to be homeless. I really, yeah, I didn't know what I was going to do. It's the worst feeling in the whole world. No, you have three girls to take care of and you have nowhere to go. What are you going to do? We'll sleep on the street? Really? You're really going to just go sleep on the street? No, you can't do that. They'll be taken away from you. I would have never asked for help before if it wasn't for my daughters. They're why I'm sitting here doing this interview today. I didn't think I was important enough to be a veteran. Just never looked at it like that until it was brought to my attention about Volunteers of America Veteran Family Services that were there to help more than I could eat. Anybody's ever helped me. They got me back on my feet, they fixed my car, they caught me up on my rent. I'm seeking counseling now. There was a light at the end of the tunnel. There wasn't before I called them. I'm a way stronger person. And it's good for my girls to see me like this now. The mom they saw when I was struggling, that's not someone I want them to look up to or that's my mother. Now, I would hope they would be proud to say that's my mom. And I'm really happy, really happy for once, finally. <laughs>